welcome in. Hope everyone is doing fantastic. I'm doing fantastic. We're finally back. Finally back. Um, it's been a long month. Um, trying to get our new internet set up in the new house, and we finally got there. Um, it uh, it's rough living in a, a college town. A lot of people move in all at the same time, so that's when uh, they're busy and crazy. So, but we finally got it. I'm excited. Uh, what's going on, Ptolemies? Welcome in. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm uh, the new setup's pretty cool. I got uh, I got the new chair. Final Fantasy 14. Love that game. Play that off 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 stream a good bit, and then we got some all the Funkos and stuff, and all the arts up on the walls. Uh, the last thing that I need to get, I'm going to get some some shelves for the back there to put up like a bunch of the other Funkos, but that's about it that we're we're, we're still waiting on for the background. Um, but yeah. I'm excited. The new house is fantastic. We love it a ton. The area is great. So, we're having a good time. Uh, other than that, we're going to get back into Skyrim today. Just because it's been so long. We're going to go hunt some books. Well, let's hop over. <laughs> there was a really cool World of Warcraft Horde one that I wanted to get and thought about it. Because um, I play both. And, uh, yeah, it would have just been, like, until December. I think it was it was on back order until December. So I was like, you know what, I'll get the Final Fantasy one. Boyo! Thank you for the resub. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I am back. Finally. Finally. Let me turn this game sound back up. All right. Let's see. Crimson. Boom. Where were we? Oh, that's right. We were going to go into the labyrinth then. Oh, baby. And we still have Jazargo's quest to finish up. We got to remember to use his flame cloak on, on some undeads. What else we got to do? Oh, we can still go do the, the rest of the graybeard stuff. We haven't even done that. <laughs> I've been putting off the main quest. That's okay. We don't we don't need shouts. I'm a wizard. I have books. And we got a bunch of side quests that we can do too. The It'd be really nice to do the red eagles. That's a pretty decent sword to start out with. It'd be better than what we have. Maybe we should go do that before we go into the labyrinth end. We were getting wrecked in that last last part of the um in Mizulft. We were getting absolutely wrecked. Maybe we should go get a decent sword before we head down there. I think that's where is that? That's I swear the Red Eagle Sword was... Over here? Somewhere? Doesn't want to tell me. I thought it was somewhere over here. 
I thought it, I thought it showed you when you when you clicked on it. Hmm. Uh. Well, for now, let's go back to White Run, and then we'll figure out what we want to do. I'm pretty sure we want to go get that sword, though. Don't do that. Ah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Okay. What is this quest? Real no Aaron. They asked me to ask or act as a test subject. Oh right, she was the one testing her her uh, magic on us. I remember that. Dawn guards. Uh, what you call it? Stuff. Uh, uh, find Shalador's writings. Oh. Yes, I attempt to find another copy for him. This is for Urag. Okay. Do I need to go read that book again? Because I'm pretty sure it's over by Markarth. No problem, Thomas. Appreciate the lurk. I just had breakfast. Got up. Uh, uh, partner took Vivi out for a walk. And then we had some breakfast. We had some eggs and uh, a friend of our, or a, a couple of our friends of ours. They uh, run a, a bakery here in town, and they made some really good freaking scones, like jalapeno corn. Had that. Had some eggs. Oh, good breakfast. Good freaking breakfast. And then last night, last night here in town, there was a um, uh, Latin festival downtown. Um, going on. So we were out at that. Watched a bunch of performances that were pretty cool. Had a bunch of fun. Did some dancing. And, uh, got some really good, uh, what did I get? We got a, a lote and, um, quesadilla. It was super good. Why am I getting this character without talking to him? Super good. I can take you to him to hold cap. Where do you want to go? I'm pretty sure it's over by by Markarth. Climb we're gonna back. we're gonna go we'll explore. I want that sword. Ever been to Markarth? Some say it was built by the dwarves. Yeah. Don't believe a word of it. Though. Downtown had some crazy good food last night, man. It was good. Oh, nice. I mean, that's still cool. <laughs> yeah, it was, a, it was a fun festival. If I remember right, it's like somewhere up here. I'm I'm really surprised that it's not showing us on the map. I swear it did. How is how we sitting on? Oh my god, we gotta go sell stuff. I made I made a mistake. I've made a huge mistake. I'm still too heavy. We have bones on us. We forgot to drop off the bones. Okay. Well, damn. I guess now that we've been here, we can come back. All right, we've been to the stables. Sweet. Okay. Let's go back to Itzy, drop off our bones. Sell stuff really fast. 
Then we'll come back and we'll hunt down that sword. Because that, that'll be solid for us to get stuff started. It's a decent named sword. Where were my bones? They're here? Yep. Nice. And I'm assuming we just have a bunch of junk on us. Man, it feels so good to be back, though. That was a brutal month. Not, not having internet for a month after, uh... After, <laughs> I mean, having it for my entire life, pretty much. Except for my early childhood. Uh, it was so weird. To get used to. You're just like... Crying. Especially because where we're at right now, I have like pretty mediocre to bad service on my phone. So our, like my phone service would drop out a ton. And uh, it was pretty rough. All I wanted to do was watch anime and it was, it was not easy. There we go. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking Trying to catch for. up on One Piece. I'm like, for sale, my friend. like Everything. 30 episodes out, something like that. Take a look. I had nothing else to do. That's all I wanted to do. Oh, that's buying. I don't want to buy your stuff. Oh, we also have all of this. These freaking the bug, bug bits, the chitin. Those weigh a ton, but I think we're just gonna sell them because honestly, we're not doing. We're not doing um, blacksmithing, really. Because we're, we're a wizard. So, like... I mean, we could, but... Let's see, what else we got? Oh, no. I sold... A soul gem. That sucks. Looking too fast. Moonstone armor. Get rid of that. Yeah, we don't need we don't need that stuff. Wolf pelts. We have a bunch of stuff in here that's weighing us down. Not really. Oh well, I guess we have things we were gonna disenchant. Yeah. Do come back. Uh, how's One Piece? Freaking amazing. I'm so happy that I stayed caught up with it because it's getting so good. It is a trek if you have not watched it. A thousand one hundred episodes is a lot. You tried mercenary work? I will not deny that, but uh, it's definitely worth it. Demon Slayer. Demon Slayer is pretty good, at least in my opinion. Uh, it took me two times to get into it, though. The first time I watched it, the very first time I watched uh, Demon Slayer. It, uh, I could not stand Tondro, the main character. And then I watched it again and I was like, okay, he's not that bad. But the, the very first time I watched it, I was like, man, this guy's kind of just like a whiny, a <laughs> whiny kid. But then I got into it more and I was like, okay, it's, it's not that bad. Disenchant. Disenchant. You know, I kind of want to keep this necklace, honestly. It's been handy. Because we're not leveled into lockpicking at all, and we need to. It's been helpful. We'll get rid of that. And I think we're wearing these right now, so... We will not disenchant those. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. We have the magic regen, the extra magicka, damn on boots. Uh, as far as anime go, the the only other one that I'm watching right now is uh, I'm watching Jujutsu Kaisen with my partner. Um, she has not seen it. 
we were watching through that. Kind of slow, but we're getting through it. It's so good. I'm not caught up on it either. Because I've been re-watching it with her. But I know that's getting crazy. All of those all of those animes are ending. And then My Hero is ending. Or ended. I haven't finished that last season. All those like shonen ones that came out around the same time are getting towards the end. One Piece is still trucking on though. Probably will for another like 400 episodes. I don't know how that guy... It's amazing how, how popular it's been for so long. Amazing. Oh, here comes a dragon. Come on. Let's we might as well get started. What do we, I gotta remember where my spells are. Five is summon, uh six is heal. Ice spike, frostbite, okay. Four is stone flesh. Where are you at? Get down here. Where'd you even land? Is he fighting the guards way back there? Alright, well. Oh, maybe he's fighting some... Some Forsworn. The other thing I figured out, um... Oh, come on! You're gonna fight me instead of the dragon? Really? Oh, we have a level. I didn't even know that. Look at this. Perfect timing. Grab some more health. I didn't know where we were going with this. Destruction? Force of nature. I do want this. Elemental specialization is going to be crazy. Sorry, we just stopped in the middle of a dragon fight to level up. Maybe, well, we have one-handed. Maybe I'll just put a, a point into lockpicking so we can do this easier. Boom. Yeah! Suck on them icicles. Heck yeah. Damn, that's a lot of gold. Nice. Pretty good way to start the day. Slaying, slaying a dragon. Honestly, is this sword better than what we have? It is. Wow. It makes me feel kind of bad. The steel sword. Well, I guess we do the, the man shock damage. Yeah, we'll keep we'll keep what we have. Cool Skegger mine. I don't think that's it. We can go in there. Also, we should we should check in here. Oh no, I'm out of lockpicks. We might as well go in the mine because maybe we'll find some books. In a mine, maybe. Maybe. When they get bored of mine picking, you know, they gotta have something to do. What was that? 
It definitely wasn't me. Nice. Oh, uh, it feels so good to be a uh, freaking um, spell sword again. It's such a good way to play. It's so different. I'm not trying to hide, I'm just picking this gold. Ow. Okay, sir. Oh, this is a strong guy. Uh. Uh-oh. Oh man, we don't have any potions either. Uh-oh, we might die. Let's just... Take it back. It's fine. Heal up a bit. Get our girl back out here. Man. They do be hurting. Gotta remember, play a little, little cowardish. Can't can't run in like a crazy man. All right. You think there's any books in here? You think the Forsworn read? I would think so. I mean, like they're not like. They're just kind of crazy. Doesn't mean they wouldn't read. Lots of gold, though. Lots of gold. I took a really long time trying to get, like... The audio and stuff balanced too. Once we uh, once we got moved into the new place, so I hope it sounds pretty good. I figured out too that my mic, my mic was getting like vibrations off of my desk, so it was getting little knocking noises every once in a while, and it was kind of annoying. Um, so I have it mounted to something else that's not my desk now. So hopefully that helps. Oh, uh, is that new? It didn't say that I had it red. That's a new book. Look at that. They do read A Dance and Fire. 97 or 98. Oh, no. Let me update my thing, man. Come on. Ninety-eight books. Progress. I think once we get like way further into the amount that we have, it's gonna be way harder to get new ones. We're gonna be searching for a while. So they got down here more gold I also think so I've started this whole like dressing nice fancy clothes thing um, which I'm gonna keep doing because I enjoy it uh, but from every Sunday after today I just decided to wear it today because you know first day back 
Every Sunday after today is going to be like a casual chill day, so I'll just be wearing comfy clothes. It'll be like my weekday streams are like work, you know, so I'll get dressed up. Sunday's chill day. We're hanging out. Which I think we'll be back to Cyberpunk on Sundays, too. I just wanted to play Skyrim because it's been a month. Cyberpunk is really fun, though. That game's going to be crazy. Once we get further into it. Also, this chair... Comfortable. Crazy comfortable. It was very expensive. Uh, I will not lie about that. The Secret Lab shares are expensive. And I'm not sponsored, so... That's just, that's just me saying. I bought it because I thought the Final Fantasy thing was cool. But it's really comfortable. Um... And it's got good support, which is really good. So, worth worth the money, I think, since I'm going to be sitting down a lot. Getting something that is comfortable if you're going to sit down for m multiple hours is, is pretty important. Same thing as getting, like, a, a nice bed. You sleep, what, a third of your life? You better pay for a good bed. Jamming party Sundays? Maybe. Probably not, though. I don't really have pajamas. If, if that was the case, I might get banned off, like, Twitch. Because I don't, I don't wear pajamas. But, I think, like, I don't know, like, a, a just a comfy shirt and... Some sweatpants or something. Like, it's just gonna be a chill Sundays. And I started playing World of Warcraft again because the expansion comes out. On Monday, if you paid for the extra thing, you already play in it. I have a friend that's already already eighty got there in like a day. We're getting crazy. I'm excited for for that. So it's, it's a fun game to play in my my off time. Some uh, some friends of mine and myself are going to join. The infamous uh, Moon Guard server, not for the the reasons that a lot of people go there, but because it's an RP server, uh, and we wanna we wanna play characters in an RP, so that's gonna be something we do. I'll also be doing like mythic dungeons and stuff and PvP, but. Some friends wanted to do do that goofy stuff, so we've done RP before on on. Uh, I think it was like when Classic WoW first came out. A bunch of my friends from like when we played way back when we all got back together and played Classic WoW and did a bunch of RP. And it was super fun. We would sit. We were playing Alliance at the time, and I was a dwarf. And we would go sit in one of the inns and just like buy beers from the, the vendors and just talk. It was hilarious. We would talk for like an hour just in RP at at the inn. It was a good time. We just pl pretty much played D&D &D in WoW. It was great. Did we do this? we kill everyone down here? Did I get all the... I think it was just all the gold, right? There wasn't a chest up there at all? I guess not. It's just a big mine full of gold. And I'm not complaining. Alright. 
We just got a bunch of gold. Cool. Well, that wasn't where the sword was, but... We got a book. One more book to the, to the library. It's one of these caves along this road. I remember. There's a nin root. I hear it. When we discover the next cave, I'm going to head back to town and buy some potions I think or make some potions maybe it's this one blind clip that sounds right maybe it's not but we'll go, we'll go in there we're just exploring today um we discovered this so we can come back wouldn't that be embarrassing if it was like some other direction I if my memory serves me right, it's somewhere over here. I don't know why it's not showing me. Let's go back to... What is it? Arcadia? The Cauldron? Pick up some potions. They're so handy. We can make probably make some too. Make some healing potions. Hopefully. Hopefully we got the goods. They're reforming a dawn guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Might consider joining up myself. I'll just pick up these flowers really quick. They're all over the place. Okay. Arcadia's Cauldron. Let's see what we can make first. Mm, no, well we can restore Magicka. That's still that's still decent. Um, let's see. Let's do. Oh, you know what I? How's our alchemy? Experimenter. We need to get to 30. Oh, that'd be good. It makes me sad they changed the mythic uh, Furac mount down to 1% early. I was ready to go in there and get 80. At 80 and get the... <laughs> yeah. Because uh, it was a 100% mount. I, can help you with. I mean, I guess that makes sense. So then you have to farm it, but... Kind of lame. Do we need to eat some of these to figure out stuff? Eh, we'll just mix them. Porterfly block. All right, we're learning. Damage magicka, fortify conjuration. That's kind of nuts. Oh, baby, we got one. Saber cat eyes. Good to know. Oh, fortify health. That's what that does. Trying to see what that made. Imp stool. Oh, restore health. There we go. That's what we're talking about. If there's any 
Did that make something? No. <laughs> Am I gonna stream WoW for the gifted? Um, I don't know. I don't know how much like I want to stream WoW if I if I would. Maybe it'd be like a Sunday thing if it was like a chill chill day or something. I don't know. It's probably not gonna be often if I did. It's kind of like my my wind down game. something. Give me something to work with. Ooh. I want those. We got so many ingredients. This is probably why we weigh so much. Got a million ingredients on me. Regenerate magic, nice. I'll oh, regenerate health. Where are we at? We're at 25. We're getting closer. Once we get to 30, then you, uh, there's that new, um, new skill or whatever that lets you eat one th or eat something and you learn all of the things that it does. Kind of nice. Oh, regenerate health. There we go. We're getting some healing stuff. Frost. Hey. That one was crazy. I did three things. Potions. Almost done. Heavy armor fortified. Nice. Wait. We just go in here and we dump these really fast. XP! Nice. Alright. I would like to buy all of your all of your healing potions, please. You don't have very many. That's disappointing. Pretty disappointing. I have a bunch of potions to give to you, though. Who 
cool. Come back anytime if you need a remedy. Oh, uh, Bellator might have some. Pardon me, but do I detect a case? Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a hop. Everything's for sale. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. A bit of this. Mr. My Friend. I would like that and that. Grab these two. Why not? Some may call this junk. Me, I and call then, them treasures. Let's see, we can still get rid of a bunch of stuff. Pushing a gibless? I don't need that. I'm already good at talking. Uh pickpocketing, we don't need do 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 do. This is poison. Those are all good. Carrying capacity is nice to have on. You know what I mean? Okay. Do come back. Sweet. Then Man, we have those dragon bones from that the freaking dragons always swoop down and, and keep giving us their bones. And they make us way, way too much. I can't have that. I'm just a wizard. I'm not a I'm not a big big he man. Well I guess I'm an orc, but those away and we go back out to adventure finally we got some potions blind cliff cave see if we can get this sword I hope it's in here I hope, I hope. Get him! Okay, deep diving into the... The bells of the horse horn. Nice. How did I miss? This guy's a freaking. He's dodging like crazy. He wasn't actually dodging. He was standing still and I missed. Is it? Alright. Sword it is. Nice. Where's my friend? She abandoned me. Nothing. That's rude. Oh, a book. Yes, please. Let's us at ninety nine. Oh, some lock picks. Thank God. Nice. That it? That's your best. Yeah, you might have wards, but they don't work against swords. Oh, baby, we're gonna level. Oh, so close. It's teasing me. Where 
Where was that? Up here? Sneaky, sneaky. More lockpicks. Nice. We need those. Kind of running low. Potion of healing. Let's get our stealth up. Maybe we'll get that XP and level up. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so we want... I'm thinking 300 magic will be good total. Or at least, like, whatever, you know. 200 stamina, and then just dump into health after that. Kind of the idea. Kind of the plan. That we're, that we're shooting for. There we go, health for now. We'll just get to 200 health. And we'll do a little bit of stamina, and then we'll bump into more, more magic. We're not at 30 yet, right? We're at 27. Okay, we got that easier lock picking. That's good. How's our one hand looking? Disciplined fighter would be good. That's axes. This is swords, right? Reduces target's attack damage. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we are going to go with swords, but... Hmm, getting enchanting would be good, too. How's our destruction? What can we go into here? I don't think we can't get any further until we get higher. Elemental spells and effects cost 30% less magic when cast in favorable weather. That's interesting. This is also going to be really good. Once we get to that. Oh, man. That makes me kind of want to get Force of Nature just so we can get this at 50. But we got a, we got a ways to go. Conjuration. We have Plane Melon. This will be nice. We just gotta level stuff up more. Oh, should we get restoration one point? I think we should get these. So we can heal easier. Without burning through magic. That'll be good. What was that? Nothing. Huh? Not a man walking around the corner casting a spell at you. Nice. Horse wanted staff. Okay. Oh man. You're running. Nice. Sniped. Oh, this is the Hagraven one. Never mind. This is not the one we were looking for. What's this is still good? Evil Petra put me here, stole my tower. Hater, chew your bones. Let me out, kind, kind meat. You know. What do I get if I free you? Staff. Help me find Petra. Wring her neck. Pluck her eyes. Take my prize staff. I just want my tower back. A staff for me? Do 
you like. Yes, yes. Let us go up. I get on the way. Hey. It's not my beef. I just want nice things. Nobody thinks to the middle. Okay. Clever. That she just murked that person. The trick is not to bleed to death. You're funny. This Hagraven's got a, a sick sense of humor. Oh, there's loot. Isn't there a door here somewhere? Okay. Oh, nice. All the goods. Dwarven battle axe. What is that? A pot. What were we calling calling her? Syndra? I think it was Syndra. Can you leave me alone? Trying to loot. Oh. Okay. Bunch of potions. Amethyst. Poison. You got some goods in here? Oh yeah. You got the goods. All right, Milka. Big silver ore. Hmm. Oh God. Okay. Get up there! Would you stop that? Stop blowing up my friend! Was that it? What will you do now? Shiny eyeballs? That was one hell of a sibling rivalry. Apprentice Robes of Conjuration! Nice! Oh. Not this. It's so loud. Okay. I'll destroy it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. She's so aggressive. A new book, though. That's a hundred. Return my beacon to Mount Hill Creek. All right, well, we'll... I will make you the instrument of my cleansing light. Okay, Meridia. You gotta chill. Uh, you have your tower back? I expect a reward. Yes, yes. My staff. Give me that staff. It. Kill something pretty with it. Yeah. I mean, I'm probably not going to use it. 
Yeah, it just summons a flame after notch. We have one of those. I can do that myself. Oh wait, that's that's not even it. That was the the eye of Milka. A fiery explosion of forty damage. It's cast fireball. That's what that is. That's a that's a level three wizard. All right. Well, what's over here? Another book? Yes. Yes. One oh one. Did I just take her eggs? Oh, that's messed up. What's back here? Oh, it's just a cage. Leg of goat? Drought of strength? Okay. Got it all? Nice. What was that? There's somebody out here still? Someone there? I'm here. Steel plate boots. Kinda cool. Oh, you! I missed you. Okay. Get away from me! I'm a wizard! <laughs> Sweet! Well, we did the blind cliff cave. Oh, now it's showing me. It wasn't showing me before. We're so far off. Maybe the UI was messed up. Well, we did some exploring. We got a couple books. Nothing wrong with that. We'll just have to cross this giant hill, I guess. Maybe we'll go around and come up. I think that's what it is. We would have got there eventually. How are we doing? We're a little stocked up on weight. Let's do some more exploring. Maybe we'll find another entrance that we can just quick travel back to. Maybe we'll find the road over there. Like a road? Kinda does. Let's explore it. A mud crab? I thought I also had the 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 um the ability for Mag and souls. Maybe I didn't pick that up. Uh oh. Well, it is what it is. This mud crab's stronger, stronger than most bandits. Freaking level three. 
Okay. Alright. Up the mountain. Yo, know, horses are pretty good for this. Oh, maybe this is the right way. It's leading us into the mountains. Into the frickin' wolves. What is that? Or skull lookout. Jerk. I guess I'm kind of the jerk, huh? I was the one that just showed up and started ruining their day. This is the last one. You hanging out out back? Oh my god, you know magic? Oh my god! My guy! Chill! You think you're a freaking spell sword? No, no, no. I am the spell sword. Jerk. The guy wasn't supposed to be that strong. Just a bandit. What is this pedestal? Hmm. That's gotta be for something. They didn't have anything on them. It's gotta be for something. A book out here or something? Interesting. Look on top, Rick, and we'll keep moving. If I can get on top. Ugh. Red Eagle Sword. Oh, well, I guess we can come back here. And then run down. That works. Let's go back to White Run. Sell some stuff. We're we're stocked way too full. Got some good pieces. Yes, actually. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Smith me an iron dagger. Here's everything you need to make one. Go okay. ahead. Well, I guess we're doing the tutorial time. That's a decent weapon. Have you met my father? Not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Okay. How do I do this? That's good information. Thank you. I click on the iron dagger and I craft. And it makes it do more damage. I help my. F you think all the cap. This looks good. You put time into your blades; they'll serve you well. You want to keep helping? How about you make some armor? Let's. Hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Craft some leather. Oh, why is it? That was weird. <laughs> 
tried to have me uh, uh, sell stuff to her. Need something? Ah, good. Let's see if you can make a hide helmet. Here's the rest of what you need. Oh God, we're so heavy. Hide helmet. Back to her. Okay. Did she make this thing out of yes. titanium? I should hire you. Let's improve the fit. Take this leather to the workbench over there. Until next time. Okay, we learned. Hmm? You have ta Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? The finest weapons and armor. Why don't you keep that dagger and helmet? I didn't want to buy that. What do we got for sale? Ancient Nord Axe? Dwarven Battle Axe? I think it's sick looking. I like the Dwarven stuff. I think it looks awesome. Pickaxe with, with flea on it. That's kind of funny. Um, I think that's it. Well, I guess we could sell. Oh my god. The gold ingots. Are they worth more? Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. I guess it's because it's two. Right? Yeah. To be fair though, I can do that, and then I can come over here, and I think I can just make gold stuff. Right? And then we can sell these. Even more money. Aha! And get a ton of XP. Got I don't claim to be the best, the finest weapons and armor. I don't think she wants my necklaces, but you know who does? Mr. Bellator. That was a bunch of free XP. Got something for just about everybody. Good thing we looted all that gold. Give up. Everything's for Take a look. Um. Sell you my meat. You can have these scrolls because I don't really use them. I have Melka. You can't disenchant staffs, can you? I think so. And it'd be good. We're going to hold on to those staffs just because they're kind of cool. And they're kind of, I guess it's like a named item. So we'll go put that in. This is not. But the Eye of Melka is. We'll go put that in our storage. Let's see. So you want my gold necklaces. He doesn't have enough money for all my gold necklaces. But we're good. We can also use those for enchanting. Which would be good. Okay, how are we, how are we looking? How are we looking? 171, that's fine. Are we making good money? Yeah, we're 4,000. We're doing pretty good. Pretty solid. Let's look at this sword. We've been trying to get all, all morning. We found the cave.
Red Eagle Redoubt. Yep. Nice. Oh, some potions. How come you didn't set off the trip wire? Haha! <laughs> I'm getting better at sniping. some people up there we're still buffed right good our our lady went away though run oh I see what you're doing you set off your own trap Good, good, good. We don't get those animations very often because we're not, we're not always up in there, up in the battle. Nothing. And yeah, the Force Warner are crazy. They are crazy. I think at the end of stream we'll pick a book and we'll read it. I think that's what we'll do every, every at the end of every stream. Seems like a good thing to do. Have story time. You know, at least so far, these guys, they're only level one. They're pretty easy. They always say that, but if the, if the tables were turned, someone tells me they wouldn't care. Someone tells me they would not care. Now I feel bad because she was just sitting down having a bowl of whatever that is. Can't even tell. Oh, well, it's on the ground now. Oh, 
Let's see. Some target dummies. Okay. Get that up. Get that back up. Get our lady friend out here. All these people have such a big problem with orcs. I'm just a man. Loot. Ah! Come on. There we go. Should have put on that freaking necklace. Well, there's somebody over here. Oh, there were. T oh, this is here. We go. Here's the. Here's the big, big mama. That ward's not gonna help you against my sword. Oh, that's. She was yielding when the sword is in her. It's kind of rough. All right, lady. Ooh, another book. Alteration? Yes. 102, we're making steady progress. Steady progress. Oh, Vivi came in. She's in her, uh, right behind me is, uh, her, her wooden crate. She likes to, we got her that one, mostly just so she has a space. She's like any dog. I mean, they like to go into small spaces and like sleep. Oh, so, it's like her little cave. It's got a door. But uh, we don't have it on there because we just use it as like a, a bed for. He loves it. Get out of here, Briarheart. You have my sword? Oh, yeah, you do. And he's got an Orcish War Axe of Draining. Red Eagle's Fury. Burns the target for five damage. Takes extra fire damage. Yeah, that. That's going to be a good weapon to use to start. Kind of get some moving and grooving with it. Red Eagle's Fury. I guess, well, is it even better than what we have? 14? 14? 7 points of shock damage, half as much as magic damage? Well, that does 10. I guess this does fire damage and then it burns them. It's cool, it's a named it's a named weapon. Red Eagle's right. The journal? I don't think this counts as a book. Maybe it does. Red Eagle's right. We can ba bathe the blood in human or bathe the blade in human blood, present it at Rebel's Cairn. Together with your sacrifice and in tone, Lord Red Eagle, Ancient One, first and foremost among Reachmen, heed the call of your people, still we fight for freedom. Still our blades are dark with blood, turn your gaze upon us and grant us uh, your blessing anew. I renew the ancient covenant when at last our lands are free. We shall return your sword of victory in hand. Then arise, O Great One, from your honored tomb. Reclaim thy stolen tomb. Throne. Rule over us, High Lord of the Reach, forevermore. You know, I'm gonna take it. 
I'll have to... <clears throat> I'll have to look through my thing and see if that's actually one. Elven shield. You know, we're going to count that as a book. For now, we'll count it. I'll look it up later, and if it isn't, I'll take it back. Cool. That was that was uh, the Legend of the Red Eagle. All right. I sit on the throne now. All grumpy about it too. Look at him. How can I be so upset? You're the king now. King of the Reach. Oh, no, we have to finish this. I forgot there was the second part. We have to take the sword and, and go there. Oh, my lord. I almost forgot. How could I forget such an important part of the quest? I was getting too excited. I was like, this sword. I think it gets I think it gets better. Oh, here come the wolfies. Okay. Quick save. We haven't saved in a while. That's a mistake. Something happened here that doesn't look very nice. We're about to hit 17. Honestly, we've been cruising with levels. We've been doing a bunch of... I mean, you get so much when you do multiple things. We're rocking spells. We're doing swords. Uh, a bunch of different spells. Doing alchemy. Oh. Yeah, let's get all these mushrooms first. Sorry. I know, the big the big thing in the in the ground looks exciting, but... Mushrooms are important. Yep, uh, alchemy comes first, I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh, no! Not another orc? This poor guy, he was just an adventurer. Yeah, it would be funny if they put an arrow in his knee. That would have been classic. Poor guy. Missed opportunity by Bethesda. 
put an arrow in that guy's knee. I want my sword back! That's freaking rude. This looks like a fight. A fight waiting to happen. We'll just buff up. Buff up. Get in there. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. I was right. Insufficient charge. Uh-oh. Let's fix that quick. Oh my god! Oh, I'm ready for this. 34? Bro, you gotta stay away from me. Kill these skeletons quick. Oh god, I'm stuck! Where's my friend? Where is she going? She's running away from me. Coward! fine. We're a wizard. This is exactly why we trained in Frost. This is the reason. Nothing else. Bring some of those. Where's my restore magic? This hurts. This guy hurts. I don't like it. Ow! Oh, don't hit her! It's fine. It's fine. Ow. Oh, he slowed me. It's fine. Regenerate Magicka. Come on, you gotta drink that. Suck it down. We gotta regenerate. We got this. Oh, we got a level. Praise. I don't know what it is. A loon? The moon? The sun? Oh, God. Okay. Uh, force of nature. We gotta get our girl back out here. Don't kill her! Red Eagle, I swear. Oh, he's down. Down for the count! Ah! 
Man, what a what a boss. Oh, we did it though. Out of that. I don't I don't think we were supposed to be here yet. <laughs> that was nuts. Good thing we trained in frost. Look at all this stuff he's got. Dwarven gauntlets. That was crazy. Waning shock. Magicka circlet. I wonder if that circlet's better than what we had. Dang, that's crazy. That was a good, good boss fight. He didn't want to go down, but we, we kited him. Professional frost mage right here. Is that circlet better than what we had? Uh, well... Major circlet is what we have. Oh, it's the same. Okay. It's the same. That was crazy. We can take our sword back now. Give me that. Nice. What a good fight. What a good fight. Okay. That was the the Legend of the Red Eagle. That was good. That was freaking good. Okay. Oh man, you know what I should have done? I should have used his freaking flame cloaks. I forgot about that. No. No! We could have had Jazargo's quest done. Where do we want to go from here? I think we're just going to go back to Whiterun, obviously, because we got a bunch of stuff to do. We have a bunch of stuff we can disenchant. We can disenchant. We can sell. We got a bunch of alchemy we can do. Put that sword away. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities. Like sure the didn't. Of the great nice. Now we can learn burning. Learn shock resist. Uh, we can learn burning to put on weapons. That's gonna be really good. Uh, that's what we're wearing, and we can do draining also. Nice. The iron chanting's at almost 50. Fortify magic regen. Oh, we have grand souls we can use. Huh. Man. So, let's see. Take that off. What can we enchant? Oh, we have this Dwarven Sword. That'd be really good. We should... Maybe we should enchant this. Yeah, we still don't know how to do... Um, I wonder if he has that as a... Crap Soul. It seems this damnable conflict has claimed everyone's power. So, you wish to master the arcane arts? I feel like he does. Soul Trap. 
Oh, that's the spell, though. Man, we're gonna have to find one that has that. Well, at least we have the spell now. Fireball. We learned that, too. I feel like we should learn Fireball, and we should learn the Lightning one, too. Just in case. Ice Storm? A freezing whirlwind that does 48 points of damage. I'll take that. Oh, Flame Cloak, too? Dang, and Frost Cloak. Those are really cool. I don't think I've seen those before. Lightning Bolt. Yeah, let's learn all those spells. Awesome. Your mind is the best weapon you have. Okay. So now we have Ice Storm. And Frost Cloak. Bonus of melee range take eight points of damage. That's so good. So we want that and I kind of want to have have these other spells handy just in case because certain things we do more with fire and stuff um let's see Okay, I, so six is that. Two and three. Ball. Put on seven. Actually, I wonder if we should just do this, then this. Or stone flesh can be five. Heal can be six. I don't know how much we're gonna eat. Well, I like the Atronaches. Because they they act as like a a dummy for us. And they do damage, but um so one, two do I even need frostbite anymore? Not really. Right? Maybe we'll do two, three, four. Five, six, seven. And then eight right now is Jazargo, so we'll do Ice Storm at eight, and then so Jazargo's thing at nine. I can't go up to nine. Oh no. Well, that's okay. I also have no potions set on there, but that's fine. Now we're a wizard. We'll have to put in points into um, into combustion and uh, iodized, so they do more damage. Obviously, I'd like to get like most of this because we're mostly going to be a spell person. But you. 
You may choose two resistances to increase. Wow. Bellblade. Oh, that's what I want. Okay, next level's going into that. When you cast a spell with one hand, you deal 20% more attack damage. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that was an alteration. That's gonna be sweet! I'm excited! Okay. Now we have to go sell stuff. This increases magic points by 50, which is really good, but I really want more magic regen. We are but in the field. We're gonna have to run back or head back to AC anyway, so we can do enchanting there. I don't have a fire spell out. Let's sell stuff. Head over to Itzy. Drop off some of those uh, cool weapons that we got. And then uh, we'll figure out what we want to do after that. Everything's for trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. He's only got no. He's got no money. Bellator. Do come back. Has not been a day. You, you haven't restocked yet, my guy. Well met, traveler. I don't claim to be the best. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? I don't need this anymore. Sweet. Okay. We'll go down here to this trusty man. He's got some money. He's got the money. It means so Thank much you. to us to have Some may call this lost. junk. Me, I call them treasures. leather because it's weighing me down how much money he's got he's got 600 There's some potions we can sell and eh, not really well so oh my god we have so many necklaces um Princess Rose of Conjuration. Yeah, see, we I kind of want to use that, but cuz it gives the 25 or the the 75%. So good. Um but I guess we could find some apprentice robes of destruction maybe. Took all his money. Well, all right then. What do we spend all our money on? Potions? Getting out of here. Somebody help. Why are they hurting each other? What? <laughs> Where'd you come from? Come on, dragon, get away from Get away from Riverwood. Come out here. Oh, look at that fireball. 
That's so good. Ow. Let's see. Come on, get down here. Quit attacking the people! There we go, land. Ah! Okay. It is. We did it. Good job, Al Lord. Look out. Don't get too close. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Back home. Back home. Drop those bones off quick. Some freaking bones. I think we have a staff thing up here. I have Melka. Oh no, I didn't want to put those in there. The bones. Cool. Up to our books. Oh, look at all of them. Look at all of our books. They're beautiful. Cover that one. That one's messed up. Look at all of our books. Can we drop off our books quick, too? Can't place that? Oh, it's too full. Okay. I need to read this quick. Before I put it up. Otherwise, we're going to think we didn't read it. Restoration? I was about to not even use that. Okay. Book, book, book. That was a letter. Damn it. That was also a letter. Not those book. See, this one was the Red Eagle Right, and I feel like that counts. Nice. And then stabs. Cool. Uh, enchanting table. What did we say we were going to do? There was um, a necklace that we wanted to do. Over emerald. See, we can't even do it, though. 
I want magic regen, but I can't put it on a neck. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. If I click this off, click magic regen, I can put it on helms, but I'm pretty sure I have a helm that has that, don't I? Where's my helm magica? My helm is magic, okay. What do we want? Ruby? You know it. Or Crimson. Magic regen. Brand soul gem. See, it only does 20% because we're not even good at enchanting, but that's still pretty good. Another 20% regen. Should have renamed it. Sweet. Feeling good. What quest do we want to work on? That was a whole day of doing uh, freaking miscellaneous stuff, <laughs> which was fun. That was that was a good time, but I don't know. Do we want to try and make an effort into the Labyrinthian? I feel like we don't have enough potions at this point. Um, let's head back. Should we go talk to the Greybeards? Should we start that? We gotta go to Iverstead. We start that stuff. Feel bad not doing it, but you know what I mean. Is it even? Maybe we'll do it later. I just uh, I don't want to do the main quest right now. There's too much other fun stuff we can go do. It would be good to get the third level of the shout, though, but. Find the Red Guard woman. Let's do this. Speak, let's do another miscellaneous thing. Speak of the Jarl Falkreath. Let's go to Falkreath. That sounds like a good time, yeah? Um. I think. I think you can take a carriage over there. If I'm not mistaken. You can just jump in a carriage. I can take you to any of the old ca Where do you want to go? Climb and back and we'll be off. Aye aye. Oh steady. I feel like we gotta get a little bit. Did you see a dog out there? Um. No, some wolves, but no dogs. Oh well. The blacksmith is offering a reward for a dog he saw on the road. I was hoping you'd seen it. I guess I'll stay on the lookout. Keep your nose clean while you're here, outsider. Okay. We'll go talk to Lon. I was supposed to talk to the Jarl. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Riften. Might Lod. consider joining up myself. Oh, he's right here. Hey, man. Did you see a hound on the road? Fine, strong creature that's been wandering near town. The guard at the gate mentioned it, does. the gate guards to look for him. 
I can't afford to chase him down, but could use a fierce, loyal beast to keep me company. If you were willing to retrieve him for me, I'd give you some fresh meat to attract him out on the road. I could be convinced to catch him. Eh, sure I can catch him. Good. There's some gold in it for you if you succeed. Here's the meat. Check the road just outside of town. Okay, find the dog outside Falkreath. We can do that. I like dogs. Bibi's a good dog. Kind of a turd sometimes, but. A dragon has attacked White Rock. How could mere men bring down such a beast? It was me. I'm not a mere man. I'm a wizard. Okay. We have to find this dog. Oh. Hi there, little guy. You are exactly what I was looking for. Did you just talk? Yeah, Skyrim is now host to giant flying lizards and two-legged cat men. Are you surprised by me? Yeah, I just talked and I'm continuing to do so. Slightly. You see, my name is Bobbis. I think you can help sort out. What could a dog need help with? My master and I had a, a bit of a falling out. We got into an argument and it got rather heated. He's kicked me out until I find someone who can settle our disagreement. That's where you come in. So you're a lost little puppy? My master's Clavicus Vile, Daedric Prince of Wishes. As you can imagine, he's quite the important person. Quite the master. Sounds easy enough, so let's go find Thank him. You. Now, since he banished me, Vile's been rather weak. He can't manifest very far from one of his shrines. I know there's a cult that worships him at Hamar's Shame. We should be able to talk to him there. <laughs> This worked out. I'll make sure you're rewarded. You just don't trust any offer he makes you, okay? This dog said, I know there's a cult up this way. Let's go talk to them. Thanks, dog. You're just getting me into all sorts of trouble. Yeah, let's go, Barbus. Come on. Good boy. Why don't you just stay as my companion? I could use a loyal, fierce dog. I'll rename you Vivi. We'll change you so you look like a have a nice black coat and a white chest. Perfect. I've always I've always wondered. I don't know what it is, but like. Sometimes I always want to know what, what my dog is thinking. There's got to be weird things going on in dog's brains. Are you finished ogling the grotesque? I suppose I should be grateful you didn't simply attack me. I'm sorry. I will keep moving. Barbus, you're moving quick, man. Calm down. Wait up for me. Abandoned got destroyed. That was beautiful. Get up there. Come on. Man. You think little boulders are going to stop me? 
Yo, this fireball spell is way crazier than I thought. Where did you come from? I feel like a, a level three wizard. That's all I'm saying. Look at this. That's nuts. Come on, Barbus, let's go. We got our lightning blast, too. Good boy. What's a milk drinker like you doing out here? You shouldn't talk to me like that. Why? What are you gonna do? Cry? I don't have to take that from you. Oh well. <laughs> Funny thing about that, you kind of do. <laughs> don't intimidate me. So oh, cool. Oh, that's the frost cloak. Okay. That's really cool looking. I like that. Where did Barbus go? Did he just keep moving? Calm down, man. I, I was fighting. No, he took out these wolves like nothing. That's one hell of a dog. Barbus, get back here. You think his master's got some books? No, where are you going? I'm right here. Barbus. Yeah, I'm right here. Turn around. Where the heck are we going? This is Helgen. Are we walking through Helgen? Oh, that's disturbing. The whole place is just ruined. Get off Barbus! Where's the last one, boy? I'm trying to get him. I can't. He's over the wall. How the heck do we get over there? We have to go around? They just set up shop in here? The bandits did? Kind of crazy. How did he get over here? Barbus is amazing. Did he teleport? And he's just taking down these guys like it's nothing. What a dog. 
He's got that dog in him. Good thing I have block picks, I guess. Oh no, Barbus. Barbus! That's not what you're supposed to do. Not how doors work, man. It's not how doors work. bud is there is the cave up here somewhere I feel like he's just he's just walking us to our doom yeah both both keep moving shame. This is it. Finally. We finally made it. Dude, this guy is going... Barbus is nuts. Oh, vampire thrall. Okay, so we gotta deal with some vampires? That what's, that's what's going on up here? The vampires are worshipping him? That's kind of scary. Thought I heard some <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it's not scary at all. <laughs> oh. Got blasted. <laughs> Fireball is amazing. Oh, why have I not been using this before? It's so good. Orcish sword. Take that vampire armor. Barbus, you gotta chill out, man. I gotta, I gotta explore all loot. What are those books in here? See? That's two more books. All right. One o five.
Nice. I'm going to enjoy this. Where are you? You can't hide. Boom. Vampires are just taking taking everyone. Is that a new book? That's a new book. Okay. No new ones over here. Nice. One of six. I think he went down that way, Barbus. There was a there was a way over this way though. I don't know what's over here. Maybe it's just the way out, but... No? Oh, it's where they sleep. A new book, though. Potions. Some cheese. Nice. 107. Oh, no. I was going way too quick. It's like right here in the start. Come on, wiggle right. There we go. Soul gem, I'll take it. Okay. Back to Barbus. Moving so fast. Hey, you are shame. Where you go, bud? Nice. Get a couple spider eggs, you know. Good for the potions. Good for the potions. How did that dog move so quick? Ooh. Greater soul gem. Don't mind if I do. Heavy armor, fireball. <laughs> uh oh, there's a master vampire down here. Oh, well. I was so worried, but Barbus is just doing all the work. I didn't have to do a, a thing. He just came in here and started eating everyone. Crazy dog. Master Vampire. Alright. What do we gotta do, Barbas? You gotta talk to your friend? Lord Vile, I I have a request of you. By all means, let's hear it. It's the least I could do since you already helped me grant one final wish for my last worshippers. <laughs> they were suffering so from vampirism and begged me for a cure. Then you came and ended their misery. Oh. Uh, Mandis, thank you for the follow. So, I appreciate that. What's your heart's desire? 
What kind of jail can we strike? Oh man, that was funny. I gave them death. That's what he that's what they wanted. I'm here to reunite you with Barbus. An end to the civil war that plagues my land? Yeah, no. Uh, we, we care about Barbus. Uh, that insufferable pup. Forget it. Request denied. No deal. Request denied? Be rid of him. Even if it does mean I'm stuck in this pitiful shrine. In the back end of nowhere. Well, perhaps there is a way he could earn his place back at my side? Maybe, but no promises. What's your offer? There's an axe. An incredibly powerful axe. An axe powerful enough for me to have quite a bit of fun indeed. If you bring it to me, I'll grant you my boon. No strings attached, no messy surprises. He's not for you. As I recall, it's resting in Rhyme Rock Burrow. Barbers can lead you right to it. Little Mutt might even earn his place back at my side. Okay. So we gotta go find an axe. Barbers is gonna lead the way. Some freaking loot up here, though. Grand Staff of Charming. Kind of cool. A lot of barlow stone. Minor wielding? Oh, baby! Those are nice. We can finally learn that. Actually, and also, do we want to put on these apprentice robes? Yeah, I think so. The extra mana regen is going to be good. Sweet! Alright. Retrieve the Rueful Axe with Barmus. We're doing good. We don't... So what's the story behind this axe? One of Clavicus's little Jess, a wizard named Sebastian Lord, had a daughter who worshipped her scene. When the daughter became a werewolf, it drove Sebastian over the edge. He couldn't stand to see his little girl take on such a bestial form. The wizard wished for the ability to end his daughter's curse. <laughs> Clavicus gave him an axe. Okay. I'm stuck. Barbus? Okay, there we go. I was going to be upset with you. Where the heck do I gotta go? Way up here? Oh, I guess I gotta go to Solitude. What a journey. Sending me clear across the freaking continent. I don't think we've been to Solitude yet. So. We're gonna have to take the, um, take the whatchamacallit. The good old carriage. Where do you want to go? Sure do. I would love to go to Solitude. Climb and back and we'll be off. First time to Solitude? Beautiful old city. Capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you already knew that. Solitude's a big I did. Oh, what a good boy. He follows so well. Okay. Oh god, we can also go to the mirror, uh, Meridia and do that, but we're on a mission to get this axe. That's what we're doing. It's 
Is that Meridia's light? Oh my god, I think it is. That's kind of nuts. That's that bright. Let's go up here, I think, and then that'll give us this path, this nice pathway to walk all the way over. This this goes right up to um, the Thalmor Embassy, I think. If I'm not mistaken, freaking always coming out of nowhere. kill the foxes. I refuse. I refuse! Yeah, we got, we got a ways to walk. I like how this, <clears throat> this entire journey started because I was going to go to Falkreath and do that quest. Talk to the Arl. Didn't talk to the Arl. Didn't talk to him one bit. Found a dog. And now we're on an adventure. Skyrim is a wonderful place. He'll keep up. He'll he'll teleport. It's fine. Cause we got yeah, we got we got some hoofing to do. Who's this guy? Are you finished, Oglig the Grotesque? I suppose I should be grateful you didn't simply attack me. Wait. Are you ill? I am one of the afflicted. I'd have been dead from this plague a year ago if not for Periite's protection. Periite? Where are you going? Returning to High Rock. Our shepherd lost his way, and I fear Periite's wrath may consume those who remain with him. That's where we're going. I could tell you more. I just want out of Skyrim as quickly as possible. So we're going here. No, that's Rhyme Rock. My bad. My bad. Different place. Well, that's a cool... We'll have to do that quest. So many side quests. Love it. All this beautiful snow. Oh, wait, we do more damage with snow with uh, ice attacks right now because it's snowing, right? Yeah, that's okay. Fireball is sick. We're gonna we're gonna keep using fireball. <laughs> The ice cloak is cool though. That'll be good. It'd be really good when we get up in people's faces. And once we learn that alteration thing, to give us the uh, the boosted uh, sword damage once we cast spells, it's gonna be nuts. Become a real spell sword. I don't know where Barvis went, he just kind of disappeared, but I'm assuming he'll teleport to us once we go inside. Gotta pick the flowers. Oh lord. Why do you do so much damage? Get away from me. There he is! What a good dog. Came in clutch. Came in flying. Now he's... Where are you going? Nice. 
Wait, why, why are you sitting down so much, Barbas? Come on. We got things to do. People to kill. Almost there. What a trek. Lost Echo Cave. I don't think that's what we're looking for. But we can come back to that. Oh, and there's a bunch of these, uh, whatchamacallits over here. Oops. Uh, I wonder if there's bandits in here or if there's, uh, the undead. Oh, no, this is... I'm sorry. I think I know what that's for. That's for, that's for later. I didn't mean to. That fireball, I'm never gonna get over how much that thing just blows up. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, do we need to go down here? Yeah. Down the hill into the cave. Oh, right here? In this burrow? Oh, what is in here? Okay. Shield up. That costs a lot of mana. Sebastian Lord. Holy crap. Sebastian is doing work. Oh! Thank God for potions! That was nuts. That was pumping damage. Oh, the rueful axe. I found it. Guy doesn't chant things. Novice robe of destruction. Nice. And we wanted to learn this, right? Yeah. Because once we get... Once we get another pair of boots, we can put that on them, I think. And then just a normal pair of gloves. We'll get more one-hand attack, one attack damage. What else does this guy have? Sweet roll. Don't mind if I do an apple pie. Yeah, I know, Barbus. We got the axe. We got the axe. We'll go back. 
Atronach Forge Recipe. Frost Salts. Oh, this is, um... I remember what that was. Now, the forge was that thing where you can make them down in the college. If I'm not mistaken. Sapphire Salt Soul Gem, yeah. Cool. Ooh, a book. Three books. Pirate King. One ten. I think that was it. Um, it sucks that we just straight up killed that guy. We couldn't talk to him or anything, but um. That's how it goes some days. You know what I mean? That's how it goes. Good job, Barbus. I think I want to keep the axe. Damn. I mean, it's a pretty sick axe. It's a pretty sick axe, but... Can't I can't do Barbus like that. I'm not a horrible person. Come on, Barbus. Let's go get you back to your master. Let's get you back to your master. Wrong way. Wrong way. Good boy. He comes so fast. Zoom in. I just want to give my friend back to his, his master. Can't believe I have to run through all this again. All right. Clavicus. We're back. And my dog. Now fulfill your end of the bargain. Someone tells me he sent us there to just get us killed. Excellent work. A hero and his faithful companion retrieving the ancient artifact for the prince. It's almost storybook. Ah, oh, but it almost seems a shame to give a weapon like that away, doesn't it? I suppose I could be persuaded to let you keep it. But only if you use the axe to kill Barbus. What? Simple as that. No. Take the axe and take Barbus. Huh. You're no fun at all. Guess I'll have to make my own fun elsewhere. And with the pup back. I'll be restored to my full power. 
There's a whole world just waiting for me. Yes. I knew I could trust you. Barbus, yeah, you're a good boy. Monster, monster gets cosmic X. Everyone's happy. Just get over here, Matt. Good boy. Don't worry, I'll make sure he sees the light. I trusted you. Now you trust me. Ah, oh, that feels so much better. You forget how nice supreme power feels until you've been stuck in a cave for a few years. Two it's a years. Shame you wished for something so dull as me taking back the mutt. Quite the lack of imagination on your part. A lack of ambition like that really ought to be punished. Perhaps by turning you into a worm. Or maybe a few decades of... Uh, Oh, fine. Have my bone and be done with it. Yeah. Got more interesting deals to make anyway. Nice. I love that quest so much. Mask of Clamic is vile. Prices are 20% better. Increase speech skill by 10. Magic over regen by 5. The heavy armor though, so we can't use it. But that thing is so cool. I love that helmet. I used that a ton in my last my last big playthrough. That was a, a sword board. Big boy. Such a good quest. I love Barbus. I would never do him dirty like that. Let's go back to Itzy. Another dragon, of course. Come on. Get down here. Think I'm scared of you. Itzy, attack. Are you going to land? A stinky dragon? No? You don't fight? You're just gonna run away? I don't know. I don't know what this dragon's doing. Stop wasting my time. Okay, well, it got scared and ran away. Are we almost up a level? We are, dang. Maybe there's some alchemy we can do. Oh, yeah. Actually, while we have it, let's do this really fast. Hell yeah. We need a ton of healing potions. That's really good. Same with these ones. We'll make these really fast. Before we start dumping through stuff. Nice. Now we'll try stuff out. Nice. Heck yeah. Oh, we got the level. That's what we were looking for. Because I want to get this, um... Alteration. Oh, our health is at 200 now? Nice. And... We should probably put in some more magicka. 
Spellblade. Whenever you cast a spell with one hand, you deal 20% more attack damage. That's so good. Oh, that's going to be awesome. That is going to be sweet. We have... Okay. I don't think so. We have that helm. Put that helm on something. This mannequin. Oh, look at that thing. That's pretty sick. Pretty freaking awesome. All right, let's go put all our books away, and then we'll pick one out and we'll, we'll read a book. About, it's about uh, getting closer to the end of the end of the stream where we'll be done at uh, 11. That's not a book. Those aren't books. Eric King, that's a book. Okay, that one's that one's full. Oh, that was that one. Okay. What book should we read? Alduin is real. That's not a book. Lost Legends. Kill before you're killed. Life of Her Oh, we're gonna have to read all of those ones in order. Myths of Shield Gorath. Let's read that one. We're gonna have to take a note and, and write down what we what we read. Let's do a little reading. It's gonna wrap up the day. Myths of Shield Gorath. Shield Gorath invents music. In the earliest days, in a time when the world was still raw, Shilgorath decided to walk amongst the mortals. He donned his guise of gentlemen with a cane and moved from place to place without the recognized, without being recognized. After eleven days and eleven nights, Shilgorath decided that life among mortals was even more boring than his otherworldly existence. What can I do to make their lives more interesting? He said to himself. At that same moment, a young woman nearby commented wistfully to herself, The sounds of the birds are so beautiful. Shilgorath silently agreed with her. Mortals could not make it the beautiful and inspired calls of birds. Their voices were wretched and mundane. It could not change the nature of mortals, for that was the purview of other Daedric princes. However, he could give them the tools to make beautiful sounds. Shilgorath took hold of the petulant woman and ripped her asunder. From her tendons he made lutes. From her skull and arms and arm bones he made a drum. From her bones he made flutes. He presented these gifts to the mortals, and thus music was born. That first one was kind of messed up. Shilgorath and King Le Leandir. King Leander was known to be an exceedingly rational man. He lived in a palace that was a small, simple structure, unadorned with art and ugly to look upon. I do not need more than this, he would say. Why spend my gold on luxuries when I can spend it on my armies or on great public works? His kingdom prospered under his sensible rule. However, the people did not always share the king's sense of practicality. 
They would build houses that were beautiful to look upon. Although not necessarily very practical, they devoted time and energy to the works of art. They would celebrate events with lavish festivals. In general, they were quite happy. King Leandir was disappointed that more of them did not follow his example and lead frugal, sensible lives. He brooded on this for many years. Finally, he decided that his subjects simply didn't understand how much more they could accomplish if they didn't waste time on those frivolous activities. Perhaps he reasoned they just needed more examples. The king decreed that all new buildings must be simple, unadorned, and no larger than was necessary for their function. The people were not happy about this, but they liked their king and respected the new law. In a few short years, there were more plain buildings than ordinate ones. The citizens used the money saved to make and buy even more lavish art and hold even more excessive celebrations. Once again, King Leandir decided to provide them a strict example of how beneficial it would be to use their time and resources for more practical purposes. He banned all works of art in the city. People were quite put, by this, put out by this, but they knew that their king was doing what he thought was best for them. However, human nature is not so easily denied. In a few more years, the city was filled with plain, simple buildings and devoid of any sort of art. However, the people now had even more money and time to devote to their parties and festivals. With a heavy heart, King Leandir decided his people were to be treated like children, and, all, and like all children, they needed rules and discipline laid down by great figures of authority to make them understand what was truly important in, his, in life. He decreed that there should be no revelry in the city. Singing, dancing, and music were all banned. Even food and drink were limited to water and simple foodstuffs. The people had enough. Revolt was out of the question, since King Leandir had a very well-trained and equipped army. They visited the shrines and temples in droves, praying to all the gods and even to some of the Daedric princes. The king, uh, Leandir, would revoke these now oppressive laws. Theogorath heard these pleas and decided to visit king, king Leandir. He appeared to the king in his dreams as a field of flowers, each with arms instead of petals, and the face of the mad god in the center. I am lord of the creative and lord of the deranged. Since you have no use for my gifts of creativity, I decided to bless you with an abundance of my other gift. From that day forward, every child born in the city was born into madness. Since infants do not reveal illness of the mind, it was several years before this was realized. The king's own son was among the victims, suffering from seizures and delusion. Yet King Leandir refused to change his ways. When his son Glint was 12 years old, he stabbed his father while Leander was sleeping. With his dying breath, King Leander asked, Why? His son replied, It is the most practical thing I could do. The new young king ordered all the palace servants slaughtered. He ordered a grand festival to celebrate his new reign and the repeal of Leander's laws. He served the crowns a stew made from the carcasses of the palace servants. He ordered the east-facing walls of every building painted red, and the west-facing painted walls painted in stripes. He decreed that all citizens wear ornate masks on the back of their heads. He then burned down the palace and began construction of a new one. In the new palace, the young king ordered his personal chambers to not have any doors or fear that small woodland creatures could attack him. He ordered that, if, that it have no windows for fear that the sun and moon were jealous of him and plotting his death. And thus ended the line of King Leandir. The, pe the people of the city returned to their grand works of art and raucious, raucious celebrations. They talked and acted as if they had still, still had a living king.
and even kept up the palace, using it to house and care for the mad children. Shilgarath was mightily pleased with this outcome. From that day forward, the city was blessed with more than a normal number of gifted artists and deranged citizens. Oof. It's a long book. I didn't mean to pick a giant one. The, C the Contest of Wills. A mighty wizard named Ravat once walked the wind winds of time to the Lord Shilgarath. His intent was to win a favor from this most capricious of the Daedric Princes. Upon finding Shilgarath, Ravate spoke humbly to him. Lord Shilgarath, I beg a favor of you. I would gladly drive a thousand men mad in your name if you would but grant me the great magical powers. Fortunately for Ravate, Ravant, uh, Shilgorath was in a playful mood. He proposed a game. I will grant your wish if you are still sane in three days. During that time, I will do my utmost to drive you mad. It shall be great fun. Ravant was not so certain that he liked this new deal. He had been really looking forward to driving a thousand men mad. Lord Shilgorath, I re regret having disturbed you with my shallow, selfish request. I withdraw my unfortunate plea and will humbly leave this place. Theogorath just laughed. Too late, mighty Ravat. The game is afoot and you must play. Ravat fled, only to find that all exits from the Daedric realm were now sealed. He wandered aimlessly, constantly looking over his shoulder. Jumping at every noise each moment brought new terror as he awaited for Sheogorath to begin. After three days, Ravat was convinced that every plant and animal was a tool of Shilgarath. He hadn't eaten or drank for fear that Shilgarath had poisoned the food or drink. He hadn't slept for fear of Shilgarath invading his dreams, which was foolish as dreams are the domain of Vermina. May she grant us restful sleep. It was then that Shilgarath appeared to him, Ravat cried out. You have set the whole world to watching me. Every creature and plant are doing your bidding to drive me mad. Shilgarath replied, Actually, I have done nothing. You've driven yourself mad with your fears, your delusions. Prove that you are truly deranged, and therefore I win. While you wanted to make a thousand men mad, I only wanted to break one man's mind. Yours. From that day forward, Ravat served Shilgarath's every whim. Whenever daring travelers try to approach Shilgarath, Ravat warns them, Shilgarath is already inside of each of us. You have already lost. I think those are pretty cool. Shilgarath's kind of crazy. Crazy Daedra. I think that's that's a cool way to to wrap up the days for for these taking a book and reading it. I think that's good. Um, with that being said, that is going to do it for me for today. It is almost eleven, which is when we wrap up for the day. Uh, today was really fun. We got a ton of stuff done. We got some levels. Uh, characters getting cool we got some more equipment uh and we got a good few books so games games getting good we're having fun um i'll be back tomorrow morning at 8 a.m uh central daylight time and i think we're gonna be playing more skyrim so we'll pick up where we left off so thank you so much for hanging out hope you have a good day and i'll see you next time